Hi you guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And uh, again, for your request, uh, we have another one here. And this one, uh, it was uh, talked about, uh, and it kind of when uh, a, a couple of people joined in, uh, if asking if I knew what she was talking about. And I definitely know what you're talking about because we all have that problem with our clients. When the ball looks so juicy and it's sitting right there, and now what do we do with it? straight into the net that's not good so what we're going to talk about is actually the path of the ball in comparison with in comparison to where your paddle should be because a lot of the times what we see uh, is very similar across the board so it's you're not the only one as you could see uh, we have lots of people with that same issue so uh, let's get on with it we'll feed some balls and we are gonna show you the different situations and what we need to do to make those adjustments. That one. You? you? Ready? Here. Okay, so this is the part where oftentimes when that ball is about, especially when it's about chest high, we tend to bend our back. So what does it look like as far as his paddle head? So his paddle head is up. That ball, as it's getting to him, it's actually going to get a little lower and it's gonna drop at the same height, same level as the net. And sometimes it doesn't even have to. It can be a little bit above, but the, the really detrimental part here is the fact that he did not drop the head of the paddle. He dropped his body, but kept the head of the paddle. Now with the follow through, that's what happens so what is the adjustment that you guys gotta make so so think of the height of the ball is what is going to determine the height of his paddle so if the ball is here it's there but it starts to drop the head of his paddle drops with the ball so now you're gonna watch with different eyes look at their paddles and look what happens as the ball drops below the net. Go again. Be aggressive, be aggressive. Yeah. Attack everything. There you go. Good. Perfect. Again. Good. Got it. Now that's lower. That was key. So overhead here, and oftentimes you guys stay with that paddle head up. This is where Phil is getting that paddle face to go down below the ball because the ball is now dropping. So you guys just remember this it's a wiffle ball so it's going to also move and drop a little bit faster because the the wind can have a factor to it uh, but also just the wiffle ball itself it's going to lose space through the air especially when it's hit softly so you have to make the adjustment with the paddle with the paddle head and drop below the net below the ball because that ball will most likely, a lot of them, they look like they are super juicy, super high, and then they drop quickly. So making that last second adjustment is key to you avoiding the net. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. And again, keep improving. You guys look good and action. Well, thanks, Eddie. Well, thank you.